First England goal, Paul Merson scored his second tonight to stake his claim for a place in Glen Hoddle's squad for this summer's World Cup finals. It was a disappointing night though for England. They were held to one all draw by Switzerland in Bern. Tottenham's Raymond Vega gave the Swiss a first half lead, only for Merson to spare England's blushes with the equaliser 20 minutes from time. Paul Merson was stunning his first England game for four years. It was England's first game in Bern in 44. The pitch was bobbly, England initially wobbly. Owen was starting with Shearer in attack for the first time, but despite the occasional promise, England couldn't threaten the Swiss goal. Hoddle moved Rob Lee out wide, Merson was pushed forward, but England were breached seven minutes before the break. Shapuisa provided the cross, and Spurs defender Ramon Vega glanced his header past Tim Flowers. Vega had beaten Martin Keown in an all-North London aerial duel. New Swiss coach Gilbert Gress didn't go overboard on emotion, perhaps wisely, because England started to stir. Owen elected to go it alone. The ball broke to McManaman, who failed to beat Corman Berth, who was off his line. But the Swiss keeper soon gifted England an equaliser, his clearance going straight to Shearer, who instantly picked out Merson. It was Merson's second England goal, six years to the day after the first. Immediately, Flowers had to deny Chapuisa at the other end. Then Hinchcliffe broke and Henchos headed away from Shearer. But Corman Berth was left writhing after colliding with a post. He wasn't beaten again and England had to settle for the draw. Not the performance or the result they wanted after Chile. People talk about systems, you change them during the game all the time because you're, you're looking at different things that might cause your opposing side problems. And that's what uh, panned out today. We changed it a little bit second half. Uh, but all in all, it's a, you know, a bit more experience for young Michael Owen, for instance, Rio Ferdinand. So you can't lose out on games like this. How encouraged were you? Hoddle's team had been decimated by injury oh, before the match. Yeah? She was clearly in no mood to talk tactics afterwards. Jeremy Langdon, Sky News.